Hi there viewers, I'm Hafiz and welcome to Let's Fix Your Games and today I'll be fixing Resident Evil. Now this game is a little bit tricky to install but we're gonna some way somehow manage it. Alright, the first thing I require you guys to do is actually to click on the link below and then you're gonna be heading over to Nglide website, alright? You're gonna click on download and then you're gonna install the application. Once you have done that, you're gonna put your CD in your drive or if you have an ISO, mount it with a virtual drive or better still, burn it to a disk, why not, right? Alright, and then you're gonna browse the CD content, okay? And then right click on the setup, go to properties and compatibility and change it to Windows 95 and have this check, of course. Alright, once you have done that, click on apply and okay and do the same thing for Resident Evil over here compatibility windows 95 done that very good all right so let's move forward double click on the setup to launch the installer but then kaboom it's just gonna hang there yeah that's right so but don't worry because i got a fix so what i need you guys to do now is gonna get your fingers on your keyboard and hold the windows key and press d all right hold the windows key and press d so you're gonna press two buttons of course all right and then you're just gonna hover your mouse over to Chris Redfield over here don't click on anything okay you're just gonna hover over them until these two things appears all right you're just gonna hover your mouse to this arrow and click on this close this X this small small X button click on that and Voila, you're gonna bypass just like that. So you're gonna select the Intergraph Intense 3D rendition and click on OK and click on OK and click on OK. Just install a default directory, okay? And click on OK and over here click on recommended and select speech. Got that? Am I going too fast? I hope not. Alright, so everything is checked and click on OK. That's how you install Resident Evil on a Windows 8 64 bit. Simple enough? Yes. So, this is the another tricky part. Don't click on yes, okay? Just click on no because if you click on yes, the installation will prompt you an error. So, once you have done that, what's the next step? Of course, you're gonna download the fix from the link that I gave you below. So, there's gonna be two links. Um, actually, it contains the same file. One is just a Google Drive, the other one is my OneDrive account. So once you have downloaded that, you're gonna be given this file re1fix. Okay. Now what you I need you guys what I need you guys to do now is go to your program files x86 and look for Resident Evil where you just install the game. All right, and open up the USA, and then extract the contents in the file that you just downloaded. Just like that, do this for all current items and click on OK. And now guess what? What do you need to do? Huh? Don't play first. Just double check. Click on the N-E-W-E-U-R properties and check make sure it's Windows 95. Now you can play the game. So let's start. So anyway, I'm running this game on an NVIDIA GTX 780 Ti with the latest April drivers of 2014. Alright, for AMD users, I hope the fix I hope the fix worked for you, works for you. If it don't head over to AMD website and maybe try to fix around somewhere there all right so if you see also blocky blocky screen you know the screen like have some lines or like squares all over it just gonna change all you need to do is just to change the 3d effects options in the display settings I'll show you later how to do that so this fix actually consists of the speed issue and then it also can run on modern computer okay so you see this page you see this you know this part where three of these people are talking you're done you just press alt f 4 to exit so that's just a test anyway guys so that's how you fix resident evil so again i mentioned earlier if you have some blocky screen textures you know just head over to the cd-rom and launch it with this launch button and go to options and change to a different different one just, just keep on trying you know it's gonna work all right so that's how you fix resident evil so the first thing is install and glide just in case okay and secondly install the game with the method that i show you earlier on and thirdly replace no you don't have to replace any files just pop in the files there and launch it with the N-E-W-E-U-R. That's a patch version actually. Okay, this one. Just make sure it's set in compatibility mode Windows 95. So thank you once again guys for checking out Let's Fix Your Games. I'll be fixing more games soon, so stay tuned.